Hello everybody, welcome back to the Lego King channel, and today guys, I'm doing a new video on the new Betrayal at Cloud City set. It's set 7522, it has 18 minifigures, it has about 2,812 pieces in it, and retails for $350 in the US. So, the piece count is a little bit lower than usual, but the set looks pretty cool. As you can see, it has some of those little city pieces on the top of the whole model. And just everything you basically want from a Cloud City Lego set. It does look a little bit funky, but here is the dining room. Uh, it does sit five people, so that's nice. And you can also see that uh, Han Solo has dual molding and side printing on his legs. That's not something we've seen from Lego before, so that's, that's kind of new. And it does resemble his black boots that are in the movie. And moving on to the next room, it's kind of like the hallway for Best Pin, and it's just got that nice little light with that cone on top, and then it shows uh, some sticker detailing on the walls, so that looks pretty good. Right here we have the carbonite freezing chamber, and that's where Han Solo just gets frozen. And uh, it looks pretty good, nice circular detailing on the top. Uh, it looks like you have a nice play function down below. Uh, can't wait to see that on review because I don't plan to get this set since it is a little bit out of my price range. <laughs> Here's another thing that's pretty cool, uh, Boba Fett's ship, but they really downsized it so it could fit this set. Uh, I don't know about my thoughts on it, it's very small, a little bit bigger than a micro fighter, and got some stud shooters. I don't know, it's, it's a little weird to me, but it's kind of cool because they included it in the set. Uh, another ship they include is the cloud car, and also it includes two cloud pilots, and I'll go down the minifigure line after I'm done uh, kind of going around the set. And back to the model, you can see that uh, Luke is dangling when Darth Vader tells him he's his father, and he goes, no, and then drops. That's a pretty cool scene. I think they redid that very well. It's a good remake in Lego, so yeah. Here's the back of the box, and you can see there's a little hanger for the cloud car, along with a holding cell and a medical bay for C-3PO. And you can also see the little landing pad for the Slave 1, at least the front of it. And we also got a picture of the landing pad at a better angle, so that's pretty awesome. And here is a picture of the older set, which is so expensive today. I'm wondering if the new one will be quite as expensive itself. Along with that Boba Fett, which is basically out of everyone's price range. The older Lando was cool with his uh, double-sided cape, but they did upgrade him too, and Princess Leia is upgraded as well. Now she has dark red instead of dark brown sleeves and all that kind of stuff. So here we go, just showing some more figures down the line. Uh, multiple figures, we got Hoth people, we got uh, Lando, they did change the Ugnaught from the original set from the Han Solo freezing chamber. And we also got some Cloud City car uh, pilots, along with another Leia where you see no new prints from the previous one. And you also do have that nice Darth Vader. No new prints, but he does have that nice silky cape. So, yeah. You also get some, uh, you get a Han Solo from Hoth with dual molded legs. Uh, Princess Leia in her Bespin uniform, along with Lando. Lando looks great. He's got a nice double-sided cape again. And he does have some cool printing that I didn't notice in the movies. So I'll have to check that out. We also got our Lukes. Uh, obviously, you don't get two of everyone. It's just the double-sided face that they're showing on each side. So one's kind of like a bruised face, and the other one's kind of just like a you're my father face. So great printing on him. You also get a new Lobot. Uh, Chewbacca, I think he's the same. Uh, C-3PO, pretty sure he's the same from our previous one. And an Ugnaught, that's pretty new. You also get an R2-D2, and he's just going down the screen right now. I think he's the same. Let's see, you also get a uh, Stormtrooper. He hasn't changed. He's still the same from the Death Star. And of course, if you get a Slave 1, then Boba Fett's got to be included. So here he is. I don't know if he's brand new or anything. But it uh, looks pretty cool. And it also looks like you're getting an IG-88 in this set as well. Alright, it also looks like you're getting two new Bespin guards. I mean, I think it's the same detailing from the advent calendar. But they just uh, switched out the face with some rebel faces, it looks like. So that's pretty cool. And the Bespin guard on the left kind of looks like a Bespin guard in the movie. What do you guys think? And here's the front of the box again. I'm not really sure if I like it. I mean, I know it's really hard to put that kind of set on the front of a box. But it just looks super out of place in how, like, the open side is just basically flat against the printing of the front of the box. 
Anyways, it does look like the set will be coming out October 1st, so maybe you guys can go pick that up. Uh, and I think it will be coming out earlier for VIP members, but obviously I'm not, so I don't really know what time. If you guys like this video, why don't you give it an actual like, and maybe subscribe if you want to, and comment down below what your favorite part of this video was, or just whatever you want to. And I will see you next time on the Lego King channel. Bye.